and liftoff. This week, NASA at long last launched the James Webb Space Telescope. Its mission is to search the cosmos for the very first stars and galaxies and possible signs of life beyond our solar system. The Space Observatory is now en route to its final destination some one and a half million kilometers away. This is an Apollo moment for NASA, right? It's a huge, ambitious project. This took 40 million people hours at a cost of approximately $10 billion, decades of development. Scientists have called this part of the mission 29 days of terror as the month-long journey is beyond any distance possible for humans to fly and make repairs. Once positioned, the massive Webb telescope will spend the next five months unfurling and orienting itself for the mission, which you can track at web.nasa.gov. In other news, we recently reported in this segment about NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART for short. The spacecraft's mission is to crash into an asteroid to see if one headed for Earth can be knocked off its course. We all gotta die, right? I'm the guy who gets to do it saving the world. This comes straight from the plot of Hollywood movies like 1998's Armageddon with a twist. This is only a test, and DART's target poses no real threat to our planet. NASA recently released these images taken from the craft some 3.2 million kilometers, just 11 light seconds from Earth. They may not look like much, but the navigation team uses the stars to determine the craft's exact location, and this is considered a major milestone. DART will reach its target in September of 2022. Finally this week, churning away at the Solar Foods facility in Helsinki, Finland, is what developers say is a nutrient-rich protein made from thin air. It's called solene, and it's grown in a fermentation tank from a single microbe. The process draws carbon dioxide and water from the air with hydrogen split from the water using electricity. A recent study shows the world's food systems as driving more than a third of global greenhouse gas emissions. Without the agricultural process, Solar Foods has near-zero carbon emissions and was recently selected as one of the winners of a NASA Deep Space Food Challenge. Arash Arbasadi, VOA News.